You're listening to Devotions with Pastor Daniel Williams, taken from the Redemption Church YouTube channel. Well, hey, we're back at it again, doing a live devotional. Uh, Different spot from a house, but same idea. We're getting into God's Word together, trying to give you a couple of devotionals and help you think biblically. Um, just about life, a biblical worldview. And in order to do that, we have to get into God's Word and see what He says. So just spend a couple of minutes with you uh, throughout the week to share God's Word with you. And uh, so thanks so much, so much for joining me and taking the time to listen. Today, what I want to talk to you about is generosity. Generosity. Generosity could be defined as the spirit or action of freely and frequently giving to others, right? Uh, Being generous is showing a readiness to give uh, more than is expected, you know, and it's not just with our time, but it's with time, money, resources, and it's more than what is expected, and it's a blessing to other people. You know, I think uh, about generosity, and I love being around generous people, uh, especially if they're generous to me. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever have those friends that um, you go out to dinner and they, you know, they always grab the bill. They always give the good gifts. They're very generous. There's the baseline and they go above and beyond and bless you. Uh, and it's uh, it's more than just money and resources, maybe taking care of a bill or something, giving you a good gift. But you ever have any generous friends with like time? Uh, I was recently so blessed uh, before A couple of months ago, I was having some problems with our van, and there was a friend who was just generous with their time. They knew how to work on a van and totally saved us hundreds of dollars because they just put in the labor. They helped with their time. Um, I have another friend that uh, I always go to because they're just great listeners. They just, man, they use their time generously and are always there for me. Um, Other people you may know that maybe are generous with you, with their words, giving you words of life, always uplifting you in it and encouraging you with kind words. No question, it is a good thing uh, to have generous people in your life, to receive generosity from others. It's a great thing. But let me ask you this question. As we think about generosity and getting to God's word, are you a generous person? Are you a generous person? Are you like that? Have you come to realize the words of Jesus when he said it is better to give than to receive? I know it seems a little counterintuitive. It seems uh, definitely against our flesh and the biblical worldview. But the Bible tells us that it is a good thing for us to be generous. And the verse I want to bring to your attention today is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11. This is Paul speaking to a group of Christians. And he tells us that it's good to be generous. It's good to be generous. He says this, you will be enriched. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving. Let me read it again. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which through us will produce thanksgiving. You know, God tells us that our lives will be enriched, blessed, enhanced when we are generous. Not just when we're receiving, but when we're actually giving to others more than is expected. Uh, This fights against the worldview about consuming and it's all about me. God says, actually love other people with your resources, with your finances, with your time, with your energy, with your effort. But again, we have to submit to God's word and come biblically and think, okay, this is what God says. How do I apply this in my life? Do I experience this blessing when I give? I don't know about you, but I can testify how my life has been enriched as I've given unto myself to others. And whether that be time, resources, finances, words, I've learned that I've been blessed and enriched as I've been generous to others. Uh, You know, it's interesting. It's almost like I feel so good when my wife and I meet someone's need. It's actually less about them and like more about us. We get so excited. And, you know, it's crazy how good you feel when you give to others, when you serve others, when you love others. As believers in Jesus, we were made for good works and God prepared us to good works to be generous because he is a generous God. He loved us so much that he gave his son for the propitiation, uh, for the redemption of our soul, to forgive sin. He gave the ultimate sacrifice so we can actually have a relationship with him and he calls us now to do good works that he has prepared for us because we're made in his image and he wants to redeem our lives and help us walk in his ways. Titus 3, 8 says, 
This saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on these things, so that those who believe in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable for all people. God wants us to be blessed and to be generous. And this text says in Corinthians that we're to be generous in all ways. In all ways. You probably think that generosity is just about giving money, but it's more. Now, make no mistake, the Bible actually does say that we, as believers, are to bless people with our finances. Uh, those uh, that have the resources and ability to look for needs and to meet those needs. You know, First Timothy chapter 6, the end of that, it talks about that and exhorts people that have finances to give. You know, my dad, he always said this to me, uh, the best way to encourage someone in need is to give them cash. Right? If you see a brother in need, 1 John 2 says, uh, and you can meet that need, then give them some bread, give them some water, give them some resources, finances to help them. We should be generous with our finances. But listen, it's a spirit of going above and beyond and giving to others. And that includes not just finances, but more. You know, I thank God that God put in the system for believers of tithes and offerings, a system that we would just freely be able to worship him with our funds and our money. And we would look for needs in the church and outside of the church to bless people. But we should always also be generous with other resources, because this verse says you'll be enriched when you're generous in all ways. You'll be blessed and enriched when you're generous with your finances, but you'll also be blessed in, uh, when you're generous with your time. With your service, using your gifts to love other people and serve other people. With your words, in all ways. And as we are generous, we're not only blessed, but people will receive that blessing and be grateful. Because Paul says it will produce thanksgiving to God. Uh, when we're generous to other people, it will produce thanksgiving to God. And so ask God today how you can be generous. How can you be generous? Act on how the Holy Spirit speaks to you as you pray and ask Him, Lord, what can I do? What needs can I see? Is it Should I give some extra offerings to the church or, or maybe to this ministry or that friend or person in need? Maybe I should call someone and give some words of encouragement or maybe serve at a certain, a certain organization or just with your time with a friend. Pray about this. Because we need to be generous as God's people. And it is a good thing for us to be generous. And you'll come to see that you'll be blessed and so will others. Just like Proverbs 11.25 says, Whoever brings blessing will be enriched. And the one who waters will himself be watered. So God bless you. Thanks so much again for being in God's word with me today. We can continue to bring these devotionals to you live. Just simple, just a simple reminder of what uh, the truth of the word of God and how to apply that in our lives today. And so make sure you're sharing this with your friends. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can go ahead and hit the like button, share on social media, those type of things. But again, we want you to be generous people. And I want to just remind you, it's a good thing to be generous. God bless you guys, and we'll see you soon.